The following question reads that in the circuit shown, the batteries have negligible internal resistance. So uh, this is the circuit that's drawn. There's a 15 volt battery and there's a 9 volt battery. And you're being asked what are the values of the currents I1, I2 and I3. So you need to solve this circuit and you need to figure out the value of the current I1, I2 and I3. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on this uh, on this node over here. And what you're going to notice is that uh, there is current I2 leaving that node and there is current I1 that is entering that node and there's a current I3 that is also entering the node. So we can come up with, uh, so the current leaving the node is I2 and the current entering the node that's I1 and I3. So we can, um, it's going to be I1 plus I3 is equal to I T. I. It's going to be equal to I2. So we have uh, constructed our first equation. Now coming to the second law of uh, Kirchhoff's, uh, which is uh, conservation of energy that the voltage of a battery around the circuit, uh, the voltage uh, or the energy consumed by the by the elements, they're going to be equal. So 9 volt, this tiny circuit over here, this is, uh, there's a 9 volt battery. So the voltages on all the elements in this tiny circuit, they're going to be equal. So you have I2 and a resistance of 2 ohms, so V is equal to IR, so it's going to be I2 multiplied by the resistance, which is 2 ohms and uh, then this current goes and then there is current i3 and multiplied by the resistance 2 ohms so v is equal to ir over there so that's going to be i3 multiplied by 2 ohms what we can do over here is we can substitute this i2 which is uh, i1 plus i3 into this equation and we can simplify this equation so it's going to become so here I've substituted, uh, instead of I2, I've substituted I1 plus I3 into this equation. And this can be simplified further into, into this equation over here. So this is our first equation and I'm going to simultaneously solve this. Uh, but first I need to need another equation so I can, um, I can uh, think of this circuit over here. Let's talk about this circuit and let's try and construct uh, an equation based on Kirchhoff's second law, the law of conservation of energy. So 15 volts. So the voltages across the elements, they're going to be the same. So it's going to be 15 volts, uh, V is equal to IR, I2 multiplied by 2 ohms, and I1 multiplied by 2 ohms. So that's the equation I've come up with. And I'm going to substitute this I2 over here. I'm going to substitute this I2 over here. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to use it in the, and substitute that uh, particular equation into this one, the value of I2. And my expression is going to become, it's going to become 15. 2 multiplied by I2 is I1 plus I3 plus 2 I1. And that would be my final equation for uh, using Kirchhoff's second law over here. I got this. And if I used Kirchhoff's second law in this smaller circuit, I got this value. Then I, now I'm going to try and solve for both of them simultaneously. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make, uh, so there's I1 over here. I'm going to take the value of I1 from here, which is, so if you make uh, I1 the subject of the equation, it's going to become 15 minus 2 I3 divided by 4. So 15 minus 2 I3 divided the whole thing by 4. I'm going to substitute this value of I1 into my other expression that I had gotten. And it's going to become 9 volts is equal to 4 I3. Then multiplied, 2 multiplied by 15 minus uh, 2 I3 divided by 4. The first thing that would cancel out is this 2. And I'm going to multiply everything by 2 as well. So, so this would become 18. This would become 8. And this 2 would also finish because I've multiplied uh, it by 2. So this is the expression that I get, which I can further simplify. And I'm going to get, uh, I'm going to get 8. There's 8, 3 and there's minus 2, I, 3. So that would be 6, I, 3. And on the other side, there's 18 volts. And if you subtract 15 volts from it, you're going to get 18 minus 15, which is going to be 3 volts. Get rid of the 6. Bring 6 over here. And I3 would be equal to 0 0.5 volts. So I3 is 0 0.5 volts. And we can now use this I3 value, uh, substitute this I3 value into any expression. So if I put 0 0.5 over here, uh, I can get the value of I1. So my expression is going to be 9 volts 
uh, let's do this so it's going to be it's going to be 9 volts minus is equal to 4 i3 which is 4 into 0.5 uh, so 4 i3 i3 is 0.5 4 into 0.5 that is going to give you 2 and that's equal to 2 i1 and if I get 2 on the other side this would become 7 7 mi 9 minus 2 is 7 and if I divide it by 2 I'm going to get uh, 7 by 2 so i1 is equal to 3.5 volts and this I1 over here and I3, the only expression uh, option left would be option C because only that has I1 as uh, 3.5 volts and I3 as 0 0.5 volts. So you don't need to calculate I2, but you can calculate I2 easily now because you have I1 and I3. You can go back and substitute these values into the first expression. So I1 plus I3, that would give you uh, 0 0.5 plus the 3.5 volts. That's going to give you 4 volts. So which is going to be the correct answer? So option C is going to be a correct option for this question.